Hello again, this is another small video about using acrylic inks. Now I've just actually taken the lid off what looks to me like an indigo colour. And what I'm going to do is, if you've noticed, because it is actually ink, that some of the ink is actually in the lid itself. So what I'm going to do is just take a tiny little bit of the ink and put it onto the brush and by trying to film at the same time is just by using the nib of the size 8 brush itself I'm just literally going to draw a few lines on here now as you can see I constantly need to reapply the ink to just the nib itself and just by doing so I can write with it so it's very good very obviously you don't want to be pressing down too hard on the nib because you want it to sort of retain its shape so literally just by dipping the nib into the brush into the ink you can use it to obviously do dots to keep them finer and use it for writing but just by using the nib itself it doesn't actually obtain the ink for a very long period of time so what I'm going to do is actually submerge the whole of the actual nib into the ink itself just wipe off some of the excess and again I'm going to see again it doesn't actually hold the ink in the brush for a long period of time so again you would have to re sorry if I go over here reapply the ink to the brush itself after a short period. The other thing about using ink that you need to be aware of is the fact that the first blob that you ever seem to do, I always call it a blob, it's always thicker than the rest. So you will have to be aware of the fact that you know if you want all of the ink that you use on the paper or however you use it to be more evenly spaced out what I do like about this brush is that it is very light to use so as you can see from that small little bit of a blob that I did with this brush it has helped to sort of space out the ink quite easily and as well the drying of the ink I just literally run the brush over the other lines of ink that I've just literally applied is literally basically instantaneous. When I am actually using a brush, if I just, hang on, as you can see there's still some ink remaining in the brush itself, so I'm going to dip that again. But when I actually use any sort of art equipment, I personally, I like to use the whole of the brush itself. So this is just like using the outside of the brush just to sort of see what sort of effects I can get. It's like using any tool really. You've got to kind of get used to using it to see how it best suits yourself. But what I have noticed already with this brush, I can just zoom in, is that some of the bristles already have started to come a bit loose, a bit free from the actual brush itself. But in all, the brush is actually obtaining its natural shape. So that's just by using like the edge 
of the brush and then obviously we've used the tip of the brush and also the sides of the brush itself. The other thing as well with using a brush is <clears throat> I always use the end of the brush as well. It's always been something that I've always loved doing whenever I use any equipment is to sort of see the effects of using all different type sides or angles of any sort of art equipment. Even if I'm just using my hands, you know, I, I'm I love artwork where you can just literally get messy. It's a very sort of tactile type of um you know, hobby or career or interest or whatever it is, no matter what you do when it's art related, just like the ability to sort of experiment with any equipment that you use, I think is is a is a must. It's the only way you're ever gonna really find out whether it's something that you feel that you could use in the future. So again, you know, it dries very, very quickly. So that's using the sort of the size eight bristle brush. So what I'll do now is I will use a different coloured ink and show you what you sort of effects you can get with. Sorry, that is the size eight. Sorry, the size I was using was the size ten. So that was with the size ten, the patterns that I've just created. So now I will use the smaller one, which is a size eight. <laughs> 